Today I am buying three brides their dream wedding dress. I invited three subscribers that are getting married to come gown shopping with me. But what they don't know is, if I can help them find their perfect dress today, I am going to buy it for them, no matter the price. $6,900. They love them. Am I gonna do it? Is this the one? We are at Kinsley James Couture Bridal in West Hollywood. They have an absolutely incredible selection of the most stunning and unique gowns. We are joined by the wedding dress expert, Hope Levine. You have to check out her videos. They're incredible. TikTok, Instagram, all the things, at Hope Levine. She is going to be teaching me everything I need to know about selling wedding dresses. These girls think that I am doing a working in a bridal dress store video. I had to look the part. Hope also gave me some dressing tips before we got here. She said that bridal consultants usually wear black and I have these adorable matching name tags made for us. Hope squared. I love them. Our first bride of the day is Lauren. And Lauren actually walked in wearing a dress that she bought from me. It was in one of my Nordstrom Returns boxes videos. And she looked so pretty. Hi, my name is Lauren. And how long have you been engaged? About like just over a month, so actually pretty recently. We actually met online. No way. So yeah. Tinder? We, yep. yep. No <laughs> <way>. <laughs> she brought with her her mom, Trina, and her good friend, Jessica. We need to make her feel so welcomed and just like she is the only bride on earth. I feel like I'm good at that. I'm good at being overbearing. Hello, we've been waiting for you. Yeah, that may either make them laugh or stress them out. I fear I was not doing the best job at selling this whole I'm working in a wedding dress store bit. I was standing dangerously close to this tray of champagne glasses and yeah. But, Whoa! Oh, oh my gosh, no, 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 no. <laughs> This was not a part of Bridal Stylist 101. <laughs> Thank goodness for cement floors in this place. We asked her to show some of her inspo photos. I liked the fit, not so much the shoulders. Okay. I thought that was pretty. And then there's some like beachy. You wanna try on a sleeve? Sleeves are so hit or miss. You're either gonna love it or you're gonna <laughs> hate it. What's the venue for the wedding? It's in San Diego, so it's it's kind of like right near gas lamp. It's a it's mm -hmm. sea water, yacht. If you had like two or three words to describe your wedding style, like what would those be? Beachy, romantic, glam. Of course, we have some of those 3D flowers are, that you were looking at. This is, the, this is the one right here. I mean, do you want this to be your first pull? Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm gonna put this in the fitting room. All of these brides are planning on buying their own wedding dress for themselves today, and they all have a budget of about $1,000. None of these dresses in this store cost $1,000. <laughs> in this store, we're in more of a couture high-end store that's made to order wedding dresses. So you're gonna have dresses starting at about 2,500 and going all the way up to $23,000. Can you imagine? What if somebody picks a $23,000 dress? <laughs> they might. <laughs> no. Another big mistake brides make is they tend to try on dresses over their budget and it's so easy to fall in love with that dress and then kind of be in this like financial situation. So your job as a consultant is to usually kind of reel them in and keep them in their budget. Yes, for sure. Except yeah. for today. So the goal of today is to not let Lauren or any of the other brides see the price tags on these dresses or else I'm afraid they'll leave. <laughs> and my plan to buy them a wedding dress will be ruined. Oh, can you pick one for me? Oh my gosh, oh, I don't know. We have a lacy one. I feel like we should pick like a glam one. So one of the more silky pockets. Do you want pockets? pockets. Oh, this angles. one has the little bow like you liked. And it is fitted, but it then it has like this um, attached kind of overskirt look. So you almost have like okay. two yeah. looks in one. Yeah. Yeah, let's try that one. Yay! Of course, yes, of course. <laughs> oh, wow. Yes, please. I mean, how can we say no to mom? <laughs> yeah. We and have to try on mom's I... pick. Oh, and that one's like just a bodysuit underneath. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Are you opposed? Um, I, um, that, that area is like a secret. I don't know. <laughs> secret. <laughs> Something that's a little bit of a combination of glam, modern. I think it's really important to be like open-minded when trying on so that, you know, your stylist pulls something for you, you're like willing to try that on. If you hate it, you can tell yeah, us. Yeah, if you hate it. No, no, I, I just, this is like, I've never pictured myself in that. So yeah. That's kind of one of those things that's like, I've never tried one on. Okay, let's try that. Okay. No, I'm with it. <laughs> if I don't like it, I will say. Yes. I kind of like this corner. I want to like revisit this. I'm um, sure like, you do. These are the most expensive ones in the store. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm literally just standing here panicking that she's going to see a price tag and punch me in the face. 
Yeah, let's do it. That one's it. cool. That yeah. one's beautiful. Let's yeah. do it. Great. Love it. We decided to make the bodysuit dress the wild card pick. Well, I think we have enough dresses and we can go ahead to the fitting room. I knew that Lauren's mom would probably be asking about prices throughout the whole appointment. She seems like a supportive, realistic queen. So I had to let her in on the secret. When Lauren was off in her interview with Tyler on the other side of the room. Um, what kind of dress are you looking for? I think something kind of romantic. I pulled her mom aside and told her that I'm going to be buying Lauren's dress. She burst into tears. I almost burst into tears. And I was like, we need to pull it together before Lauren looks over here and realizes something's going on. Our next bride is Kara. My name is Kara Peters. I've been engaged for two and a half years. We met at college. We were at like a coffee shop like on campus, we'd always like go to the coffee shop at the same time. And eventually he turned around and he's like, are you following me? And I was like, <laughs> I don't know, do you want me to be? I saw a Facebook like friend request and he was like, I guess I'm following you now. And that was it. We've been following each other ever since. <laughs> she brought with her her longtime friend and bridesmaid, Natalie. What are two words that you would use to describe your wedding? Outdoorsy, like adventurous, feminine and girly. What's the venue like? I really want to do at Big Sur. They have um, Calabilly Valley. And it's like, you see like the mountains on both sides and then in March when the calories are full bloom. Try not to look at the prices. Okay. Just have fun, try on what you want. Um, some beautiful laces, you're a, definitely a lace fan. Yeah, with like the corset, that's <laughs> yeah. cool. So we can like, start yeah, with like five dresses. You want this okay, to be one yeah. of them? Okay. Definitely. After helping Lauren pick five dresses, I was feeling a lot more confident making selections. Oh wow. That one's yeah. heavy. That is like <laughs> There's a lot to her. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. I know, all that. Tool. That might get destroyed out in a minute. I like that one. Yes, yeah. let's try this. You have those 3D flowers. Oh yeah, definitely. This one? Definitely. definitely. Okay, wow. That's gorgeous. How do you feel about starting there? I just feel like I didn't get to even look over here. <laughs> yeah. I want to see the sparkle at least. Like some of like, just the sparkly ones. Yes. I really like this one. I like that one too. I really like yeah. the neckline on that. Mm -hmm. It's really pretty. Yeah. I'd say it's like, it's different from what we've pulled. To... Hope was helping the girls back in the dressing room because she's an absolute pro. It's quite the experience in a fitting room, but basically you just wanna make the bride feel comfortable in there, talk through like what is standing out to her and start from there. That's always a great starting point. Start with their favorite. You guys ready? Oh, dress number one. Ready. Okay. That's so cool. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> what are you thinking? What do you like? What do you not like? I think it's gorgeous on, I feel like it might be too much fabric. But do you like any components of it that you want to see maybe in other dresses? I am liking the off sleeve. We're on the right track but though. There's a lot right that track. we do like about like it. It's gorgeous, but it's not, it's not the dress. One out of 10, where would you rate it? I would say like a solid seven. Okay. Fun fact about Kara, she has a zebra. Yeah, she just casually brought that up to me like at the end of the appointment. Okay, here we go, dress number one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it is amazing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let me not run into the champagne again. <laughs> How do you wow. feel, honey? I feel like I look really good. Like, oh my goodness. I feel like I didn't lose my shape. I'm obsessed with this. Who picked this one? I think this was helps. I think it was my pick. <laughs> I'd say we're off to a great start. All right, scale of one to 10. Eight, seven. Wow. wow. I think what would give it more is if it had something here, like maybe a like belt. That's what I was wondering, yeah. yeah. Let's see, like, oh, there we go. Yeah. It ties the dress yes. together. So what does that bring it up to now? Like This, is, this now. is like, Nine, five. <laughs> well, we're gonna head to the dressing okay. room now and we're gonna try on something next that is like totally so different, different from this. <laughs> and we're just gonna shock you. Our third bride is Jessica. My name is Jessica. I'm from Long Beach, California. Originally from Egypt, but I moved here in 2016. Uh, we, meet, we met at church in Anaheim. Our wedding is hopefully next year. Uh, if not, the summer after. She brought with her to the appointment her future mother-in-law. If you could describe your wedding or your dress or how you want your wedding day to be in just two or three words, what words would you pick? Classy and glamorous. And outdoorsy. Okay. Yeah. Very different. No, I like, like it though. Find a way to put it all together. <laughs> yes. Try not to worry too much about price and stuff. Go crazy, have fun, <laughs> try on anything that catches your eye. Oh, that one's cute with those like 
three I little love, straps. I think that was one of the ones that I saved. Actually. Really? With the, yeah. I like that one a lot. Okay, so that one's like really florally. A little bit more on the outdoorsy. Yeah, we can also find some that are just like sparkles. Straight glam. Yes. I think this was also one of the ones that I Yes, like. that, that Ooh, was that the first one you should. And it's a sleeve. I, I don't think I've tried any dresses with sleeves. Oh I was gonna say, you keep looking at yeah. that one. Let's do that one. <laughs> Her fiance's mom found a really cool one with a cape. I think, we, I just want to see how the cape works too. <laughs> yeah, so cool. Okay, cool, yeah. Not on you, me too. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we've got two more. Perfect, great choices. Do you feel like we have a good amount to start with yes. and kind of get a feel yeah. for the designers and stuff? Yeah. Okay. okay. Okay, so out of all these dresses we picked, which one is your favorite? I think so far I'm the most excited to try this one and this one. Okay, let's yeah. start with one of those then. You guys ready? First dress. Yeah. And we're just gonna head to the platform. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> so pretty. I love it. Oh my gosh, yeah, the corset top on you yeah. is incredible. Do you want to see the back? Yes. Okay. I know you said you love a train, so we do have like a really pretty detailed illusion lace train. Maybe the only thing would be like maybe just one strap, but this is so pretty at the same time I don't want to remove the other mm -hmm. strap, yeah. so it's like out of 10. Yes. What do you feel like it is? <laughs> I feel out of 10 and give this one a 9. A 9. nine. That's pretty strong. <laughs> Oh, wow. That's pretty. Yeah. The bottom is really unique. You look oh, insane. <laughs> you look so good. The only thing I feel like I don't like is how deep the V is. Uh, I don't like that it's see-through. Which we, we can definitely line. I feel like you're definitely a little bit more quiet in this one, which yeah. which usually is like a sign. This was a fun one to try on, but I think it's officially out of the running. Oh. That reminds me, you should join my text group because that is how I found these three girls. If you're interested in participating in future videos or you just want the inside info on upcoming videos, hit subscribe and text subbed to my phone number here, 310-582-5313. For dress number three, we went with something completely different. Fun. It's so sparkly. It's like super Hollywood. <laughs> yes, yes, this is glam. What do you think of the sleeves? I like the sleeves but I don't know if it's gonna be too hot. She also felt like her movement was really restricted. Dancing and hugging would really be a challenge in this one. And now the cape. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that's incredible. It's one of the coolest things I've ever seen. <laughs> Seriously. There's so much to choose from. Like, it's such a good thing, but it makes it so much harder to choose. I love the shape of this one. Yeah, like how one narrow it comes so in. Good. So far, it seems like each dress that Jessica is trying on, there's something that she's not sold on. I'm worried about this appointment because she was planning on bringing her sister with her. It sounds like her sister's opinion is really, really important to her. And I'm afraid that without her sister here, she's not gonna make a decision and she's not gonna end up with a dress. There should be no problem with a bride finding a dress that she loves today. Is that something you're worried about though? Kind of, like that's, that's, yeah. What if, I am kind of nervous about that. And then they're gonna watch this back and feel bad. <laughs> this is mom's pick. Oh my gosh. It's like a fairy. That's so cool. <laughs> I don't, I like that low cut in the front, like you were saying, how it shows your tattoo. Yeah, That's, I love that. I, I love it, but this isn't me. This isn't me, the lace, the sparkle, I yeah. love. Okay. Uh, Just not the style. I, I think it's the style and, and a little bit of this, but it has great aspects that I do like. I like the boning, I like the little sheer. I mean, I love a decisive bride. Yes. This is actually kind of a rarity. Oh wait, one out of 10. Oh no. Or, or no, 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 what out of 10? No, 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 not one out of 10. No. I think what honestly, out of 10? like with everything, like a 6.8. That's still high. That's still yeah. high. Is yeah. it? 5.3. Okay. 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 So there was one other dress in there. It just, it's not gonna be a good next dress. Yeah. We're gonna do a scan. She did wanna try on a sleeve. That one's kinda cool if we wanna try a sleeve. Hope and I each picked a new dress that we thought Lauren might like and we headed back to the dressing room. All right, what do you think? How's it going? It's going amazing, I think. Okay, dress number three. Ooh. <laughs> okay, from here down, 10 out of 10. I, this is a very close second. Yeah. Okay, but it like, is a second. Yeah, that just confirmed just, everything yeah, we needed. I just said second. Because it's it's something like we haven't tried on yet. 
Oh my gosh, the sleeves. The sleeves. That's so fun. I love the, <laughs> the little like bow. This is like perfect. Goodness. I love. This is like more my style, I uh -huh. think. Because we like this one, I think to the level that we do, do you want to see this one with a veil now? So we're gonna use these to seal the deal though. If yes. they're on the fence, we say put on this. A veil is end game. Like we, we typically only want to put a veil on a dress that a bride is like really feeling good about. This is like, the wheels are turning. I see it, I see it in her head. Oh, look at the back. So what do we do from here? <laughs> Lauren was pretty sold on this dress, but we had one more that we thought she should try before she made the official decision. Dress number two. Okay. Ooh. This one's really pretty. This dress wasn't as heavy as the first one, but Kara felt like it was missing some drama on the top. I really like this one. I feel like this is the it's one to be hard to beat. <laughs> this is the one to beat. This one is the new front runner, but I have another dress in mind that I want her to try. Okay, I really want her to try on this one. How much is it? Okay, I have good news and bad news. The um, bad news is it is $6,050, but the good news is it's on sale for $5,445. <laughs> This one is wow. so pretty. That's literally like a combination of the two. It is. I just want to okay. like swirl around like a little princess. <laughs> this one's amazing. This one totally stole the show as expected. With the lace that fades into the skirt, the entire thing has a beautiful sparkle to it. I really like this one. <laughs> this is really pretty. She tried on a couple more dresses to see if we could top that last one. And although they were stunning, especially this floral one with the matching veil, they just weren't quite measuring up to the experience of the one. Very sparkly. Yes. This is definitely like more of that outdoorsy yes. vibe. What do you think of the off the shoulder strap? I like the off the shoulder, but I think I still prefer. Pretty easy fix on that one. I think like now, like this is tied with the first one. Really? Oh. Yeah. This one's just a little bit more floral. The other one's lace, so. Yeah. Earlier in the appointment, Jessica showed me a dress she tried on at another store that she liked. I knew that could be a threat to her picking out a dress today, so I pulled something as similar looking as I could. It had a plain white silky skirt and an embellished top. This one is very similar to the one I showed you. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, like, I think after trying the, the first one, like with the detail on it, I think I prefer that. A win. I'm, I'm excited, because like I was so, like upset because like haven't found a dress that I really liked. So like coming here has given me hope that I'm actually <laughs> finding a good dress. Well, I hope your sister makes it. I know. Just when I thought all hope was lost, Jessica's sister actually showed up. <gasps> You're here. <laughs> Just in time. We narrowed it down to something we really like. She was able to get off work in time and made the drive, and I'm so grateful because I know it meant a lot to Jessica. Um, so I'm actually buying the dress for her. Ooh, so yeah. <laughs> How do you think she's gonna react? I think she's gonna. Look, I know. Dress does not cry at all, but she's for sure like you'll see her face getting red. Maybe her vein will pop up. And <laughs> the fact that she walked out in this one was probably a sign. So we tried on one other, and we we just weren't feeling it. So. <laughs> but we did a full try on of the top two picks to get her sister's opinion. I'm more indecisive than her. Yeah. So I don't know how much help I'm gonna be. <laughs> I have in my mind which one you would like more. At the same time. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> you want me to guess which one you think I'm gonna pick? Yeah. Okay. This one? No, I thought you were gonna <laughs> Why are you looking at me? It's your dress. <laughs> and we're back in the final dress for the final time. I love it. This is the one for sure. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, wait, so she's saying yes to the dress? I am. <laughs> Back in the favorite. It didn't last her very long without it. <laughs> yeah, this dress is just, yeah, yeah. We found the perfect veil to go with this dress. I'm nervous to say the word. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you saying to the dress? I think I'm saying yes to the dress. <laughs> Lauren requested that this dress not be shown on camera yet, but I will say it is a perfect combination of everything that she loved and the beachy glamour vibes that we were looking for. That one's amazing. Like it already fits you perfectly. Wow, try not to cry. Oh my God. <laughs> Stop, why are you crying? Yeah, we're all crying right now. I think, I think that's the one. 
You do? I do. I think that's the You look like a million dollars. We can all agree. Like, I'm being very honest. Like, I never thought I would see this or be in this or, like, feel this way. Like, is this the one? Yes. <laughs> Immediately after saying yes, Lauren leaned over and asked how much the dress was. I was like, we'll figure it out. All three of my brides have said yes to a dress. And now it's time to tell them. Okay, well, should we talk price? <laughs> I sat them all down with the invoice in my hands and I was literally shaking. <laughs> I don't know why, I know what's gonna happen. Um, so the dress is for 4840 and then the overskirt is also a little bit more um, and then the veil is 675 and then we have your accessories which brings us to a total of eight thousand seven hundred eighty nine dollars without any sort of discount but with your discount okay. I'm buying your dress for you <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> I mean, you bought a dress from me, so it's only fair to right? <laughs> trade. <laughs> the dress, six, um, and then what is this? I think that's the, yeah, that's the veil. 950 headpiece, 294. Um, and then we are gonna make you some clip-on earrings because we think it'll be cute. So <laughs> the total is 8,731. Okay. But after everything. I'm buying your what? dress for you. <laughs> no, you're not. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you. You're so welcome. Thank you. I don't know if you heard her, but she was like, that you are the dress as a person. I'm crying. <laughs> like, why am I doing that? I feel like it's not really real. Like, this didn't really happen. Like, I kind of dreamed it all happened. Very, very elated on cloud nine. Very happy. So the dress, 5,136, and then the veil is 1,125. So a total of 6,844. <gasps> I'm buying your dress for you. Are you serious? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, that's yes. too much. No. Thank Congratulations. You so You're so welcome. Thank you so much. <laughs> I don't know why I'm crying, I already knew. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't have words like, this is literally the best thing that could have happened. I was so stressed, I didn't know like how I can find a dress like in my budget because um, my parents wanted to be helped as much. Uh, so I was really praying about it and this happened and it's insane, but seriously, can't thank you guys enough. No, you're gonna make me cry. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes, it was approved. Perfect. I was expecting it to be like, sir, you need to place a phone call. <laughs>